Hello, this video is about the Cube Queen quests that are coming out in a few hours from now. And we'll start things off with quest number one, which is to survive storm circles while carrying a sideways weapon. So head over to the sideways anomalies which spawn randomly around the map and they look like rifts on the map. Open up these chests, obtain the weapon and then survive during the match while you're carrying it. On to quest number two, and that's to eliminate a player with the sideways minigun. So again, find those sideways chests in their sideways anomaly rifts or in the sideways POI around the map. Now on to quest number three, and that's to shake down opponents. To do so, you're gonna have to use the duos, trios, or squad modes so that you can knock down an opponent and then shake him down. Quest number four is to use a shadow stone or a shadow flopper to phase for three seconds near a player. The easiest place to get a shadow stone is at this place right here, which is north of retail row. Once you head over to this area, you'll find them scattered around the floor right here. And all you have to do is consume a shadow stone or a shadow flopper if you fished it from the water, head over beside a player and then phase around them with the shadow ability for three total seconds. Moving over to quest number five, you're gonna have to deal damage to players while using the sideways scythe. Once again, you can find the sideways weapons like the scythe in these anomalies scattered around the map or in the sideways BOI. Challenge number six is to complete a bounty from a bounty board. You can find one of the bounty boards over at Risky Reels, right over there near the campfire. Now on to quest number seven, which requires you to get player headshots using a sideways rifle. So try and find this weapon, get headshots, and that should be it. Now on to the final quest, which is quest number eight. You're gonna have to head over to steamy stacks and glide in the smokestacks located in this area. The smokestacks are obviously these two stacks right here. Get inside and then just glide yourself up, which will then complete the quest.